Hi, this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C program. So in this video tutorial, we're gonna see the break statement in C. So this break statement has mainly two use in in C. The first one is it it is used for immediate termination of a loop, and another one is you know to terminate the case condition in a switch. So in this tutorial, we're gonna see how we can use this break statement and what happens when we use that break statement. So for the demonstration purpose, we're gonna use a for loop. So that's why you know for a for loop, we need a counter variable. So I'm gonna create it. It's gonna be int counter, and I'm gonna write my for loop. And uh, here inside this for loop, we're gonna initialize a variable. That's gonna be it's gonna be counter equal to one, then counter less than or equal to ten then counter plus plus so within this for loop we're gonna use the printf statement and uh, we're gonna write that uh, value of this counter it's gonna be percentage d a uh, new line and uh, refer this counter variable so next after this for loop we're gonna use another printf statement and we're gonna say after the for loop so this is it save it compile it and run it as you can see here the program printed the number from 1 to 10 that is the value of the counter so when this counter value became 11 you know this test condition failed that's why the control came out of this for loop and uh, you know it just continued to uh, execute the next statement which are present in the source code so that was the printf statement after the for loop so that's why it's printed that and then it just terminated our program here so as so as you can see here this for loop just terminated when this test condition failed in our program now we want to terminate this for loop you know let's say when this counter variable becomes 5 so for that purpose we're gonna use the break statement so first we're gonna use this if statement to check whether this counter variable is containing the value 5 so it's gonna be if then counter equal to 5 if it is so then we're gonna break this loop so when this counter value becomes 5 you know this break statement will be executed and the control will come out of this for loop and continue to execute the statement after this for loop so it's gonna print the values from 1 to 4 and when it when this counter value becomes 5 it's gonna break this for loop that's why it's gonna come come out of this for loop and it's gonna continue to execute you know this print of statement and uh, then it's gonna terminate our program so I'm gonna save it compile it and run it so as you can see here you know uh, it just printed the values from 1 to 4 that's the values of counter variable from 1 to 4 and when this counter became 5 it just uh, you know break that for loop and after that it just executed the statement after the for loop so you can use this break statement in the while loop and do while loop also uh, another use of this break statement is you can use it to terminate the statement of a, of a case in the switch so the usage of this break statement uh, in the switch statement we're gonna see in the tutorial about the switch statement Another thing about the break statement is uh, if you are uh, uh, writing a loop inside another loop uh, or if you have a nested loop for example you have a for loop inside another for loop and your break statement is in the inner for loop then uh, you know this break statement will gonna terminate the inner for loop only and uh, the control will uh, continue to execute with the next iteration of the outer for loop so this is it this is about the break statement in c so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial